Seti took me to see the house um, pretty shortly after we met. Um, I think he really wanted me to love the house as much as he does. It's really, it's a very important place to him. Seti has always, always, always been focused on public service. One of the first things he said to me, I think it was probably like one week into our relationship, um, he, he wanted me to be sure I knew what I was getting into. So he let me know that public service was an important part of his life. It would always be what he was focused on and that he was a Catholic and that that was a really important um, value to him and he would want that to be a part of his family's values. This house holds a tremendous amount of significance for me and, and my brother, but for my parents, this house represented a lot of things. They purchased this house, the house that we're sitting in, with GI Bill benefits, my dad's uh, benefits from the war. If it not for those benefits, uh, they wouldn't be able to purchase a house. I'm tremendously proud of my brother's military service. Uh, military service has been a tradition in my family. My father served, my grandfather served. I enlisted in the Navy Reserves uh, shortly after 9-11. I learned at an early age uh, that diversity is a strength, understanding perspective is a strength. That stayed with me when I went to Iraq. Um, I was on this base with people uh, that had nothing in common with me. We had to have each other's back if we were going to get through that year and complete the missions that we were on. When I came back to Newton to raise my family, I ran for mayor in my hometown. When I took office, the city was facing a $40 million structural deficit. By focusing on budgets that created outcomes for people, we turned that deficit into a $20 million rainy day fund, all while reducing class sizes, investing in infrastructure, and making Newton more inclusive. When I think about what this world will look like for John and Abigail, it worries me a lot, to be honest. I want them to live in a country that you know, cares about people, that takes care of other people. And I'm not sure that's the direction we're, we're going in. I believe the issue of our time is economic inequality. I am so fortunate that my family had that investment. The GI Bill afforded me to be able to live in this house and grow up with my two sisters and be in this house with my two children, eight and five, and my wife, give them the same opportunity that I had. My family came from a tough background and they were able to make ends meet and ensure me and my two sisters would do better. We have to make sure here in the Commonwealth we do the same for every single family in every single neighborhood so that Massachusetts meets its full potential. Despite years of strong economic growth, our state budget is a mess. It starts with telling the truth. We've got to raise revenue by eliminating tax breaks for special interests and asking those who make more than a million dollars a year, $20,000 a week, to pay their fair share. We can use new revenue to fund strategies that will reduce the scourge of economic inequality, like making public colleges free and moving us towards single-payer health care. This is how we will move the Commonwealth forward. The GI Bill helped my family pull themselves up out of poverty. We need government programs like this to combat economic inequality today. What kind of community do we want to be? What kind of commonwealth do we want to be? Do we want to make that generational investment in people so that they can have that foundation of opportunity like my family had? I'm Seti Warren and I'm running for governor because it's time for a new generation of leaders to move the commonwealth forward.